Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm sitting down and telling you all about my next plan on experience. This is going to be a full in-depth thing about all of my side effects, why I got it taken out, did I like it, how was the removal and the putting in of Nexplanon and all of that. So if you want to know more about Nexplanon, then just keep watching this video. So first I'm gonna start off by telling you how I decided to get Nexplanon. I had been on the pill for about a year and a half, two years, and it was fine, I liked it, didn't really have any side effects, but I hated taking the pill every single day. Like. I wouldn't necessarily forget a lot, but it just like made me nervous if I did forget and things like that. And it's just a pain, you know, you have to take it at the same time every single day as a lot of you probably know. So that was just a pain for me. So I decided upon Nexplanon because I found out that it was free with my insurance, which was obviously great. And I was like, you know what, I might as well try this. You don't have to take anything every day and it lasts for three years. And a lot of people really do like it. So I ended up getting it put in, which was a pretty pain-free process. Like, I mean, you do get a bruise. I bruise very, very easily. I do not have any pictures of this because it was in September of, I believe, 2015 or August of 2015, the end of August. And I don't have any pictures, I don't think. If I do, I'll put them on the screen. There might be some still in my camera roll. I did bruise very, very badly. So this isn't something that you could like hide from people unless it's winter time and you cover up your arm or whatever. But it was like August, you know, the end of summer. It was really hot, so I did have a big bruise on my arm, you know, right here where they put it in. So if you don't know a lot about Nexplanon, you basically, they put this little rod that's flexible into your arm and it distributes hormones so that you don't get pregnant basically. They put the little rod thing in, it all went well. You can feel it in your arm. You're supposed to be able to feel it. It's supposed to only be under the layers of your skin so that, I don't know, some something with it working better. So they just put it in and it takes probably like 10 minutes. Like it did not take long at all. I did bruise and it was, you know, painful for about a week and then it went away. So it was all great. I was obsessed with this the first, you know, six months, I believe, of having it. And then I started to break out. It started, I remember, with two huge zits on my cheek. And I was not the type of person to break out very much. I had little zits. Now I come to find out that I did not break out very much at all. Like before I was kind of like, oh, I break out, blah, 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 blah. No, Emily, you did not break out your... 17 year old self did not really break out. It was one zit every now and then, probably from my period or whatever. So then it started getting worse and worse. And I was like, oh, I don't know, like what's going on? I didn't really attribute it to the next one on right away. I just thought, you know, my skin's freaking out for some odd reason. So I started doing all these different products. I went on Polish Choice, salicylic acid. That worked really well for a while. I did, you know, a bunch of different things. I tried benzoyl peroxide at one point. My skin freaked out. And I had used benzoyl peroxide in the past, like spot treatment. That's why I went back to it and tried to use it. My skin freaked out. I got the worst rash. I think I have pictures of this too. I'll, I'll put them on the screen. And they, like, my skin freaked out. It was so dry and scaly and it was red and it hurt. And I ended up putting that really thick um, CeraVe cream all over my face because it was so dry and gross and I didn't want to go outside because I had acne and my skin was freaking out and so this is when you know my confidence started going like down 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 so anyway I didn't really think it was next one on for a while and I was trying different things and whatever and then eventually I was like okay it's been about at least six months maybe even longer than that I think maybe Maybe it was like three or four or six months of having that. So almost a year of having Nexplanon. I think it was maybe a year of having Nexplanon. I finally went to the doctor and I was like, you know what? My skin is really bad. And that was like basically all she had to hear to prescribe me things. So I was on doxycycline high clay, I think, tablets. And I had like a spot treatment as well. And so that worked, you know, well for a while. And that was great. And it cleared up within about a month my skin you know cleared up but it didn't completely go away like I was on that um, medication and it never really 
fully help the problem. Like I would still get zits, but it, my skin was a lot clearer than it was before. So I was on that medication and you know what? That medication, first of all, it's an antibiotic. So I didn't like that I was taking an antibiotic and it was basically covering up the problem. So if I went off the antibiotic, it would just like come back. It wasn't, it wasn't like a permanent fix, you know? So and that's not good for your gut or anything like that. So I didn't like that I was on this antibiotic. And it also did not sit well with me. Like I would be nauseous a lot. I would get just a lot of different symptoms with that prescription as well. And so I didn't like that. So I stopped taking it. Then I went the natural route. I tried tea tree oil. I tried, um, let's see, oil cleansing. I tried... <laughs> taking I tried taking a bunch of different like little supplement things that would be more the natural route of things I tried taking skin vitamins I tried doing tea I tried to like you name it I tried it for trying to get rid of my acne with the next one on because I really love the fact that I didn't have to worry about next one on and I didn't have to worry about you know getting pregnant I didn't have to worry about anything and so I, I just put up with it and I was like, you know what? I have acne, blah, 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 blah. But, and I got really good at covering it. You guys have seen my videos of using full coverage foundations and I cover it as well as it can be covered, you know? And so all throughout this time of having my channel, you guys have kind of seen my skin fluctuate with this stuff. You can go back to old videos, see my skin. That's It's really a lot better because when I first started my channel is basically when I went on Next One On. Recently, about a month ago, I was fed up with it and I was like you know what I'm getting this taken out this is right before I moved to Pennsylvania and I think it was two days before we moved I was like I'm getting it taken out I'm going to my regular doctor getting it taken out but I didn't end up seeing my actual doctor that I usually see I just saw another doctor to get it taken out she was phenomenal she was really nice everything was good and so I went to get it taken out, right? And I asked her, I was like, you know, how long does this usually take? Is it, you know, going to take a while or whatever? I was really nervous. I, honestly, like the nurse took my blood pressure and she was like, are you nervous to get this taken out? And I was like, yeah, I am. And she was like, oh, okay. Cause your blood pressure is higher than it should be for someone your age, you know? And I was like, yeah, like I am nervous. I had like anxiety about it, but I was like, you know what? I just got to do it. I know I'm going to bruise and I'll get it taken out and I'll just go back on the pill. So I went in and they basically, you know, sterilize your arm, everything. And they're supposed to be able to make like a teeny tiny incision and, you know, it should pop out. They should be able to get it out. So I was like, you know, it'll be really quick. The doctor was like, yeah, it shouldn't take longer than like 10 minutes. Like it'll be super easy. So she felt it and she could feel it in my arm, everything like that. It was fine. So they, you know, numb me up, everything. And I am sitting there. And they, you know, make this little incision. I'm saying they because she had a student in the room and she was doing the procedure, which I was totally fine with. I don't blame her at all. I don't blame in, any of the doctors. I just, it was more difficult for mine to be taken out. So this is my experience with it. I did have, they did have trouble taking mine out and I did have to get stitches. That's like the bottom line. So anyway, Mine was like really hard to get to. I think it was maybe a little bit too deep in my skin, which is probably why it wasn't working exactly correct, like correctly to where I could have been getting acne because of that issue. I don't know if that's for sure or not. It could have just been the hormones my body didn't like. You know, I had hormones out of whack. I don't really know. But mine was a little bit deeper, so they had to make a deeper incision and it had to be wider because basically every time they tried to pinch the next one on to take it out, it would like wiggle around and it's really flexible so that it doesn't you can't feel it every day and so it was harder to be taken out because it's that flexible so it was like a little worm and it would like slide around and they couldn't get it out so anyway I had to get three stitches because the incision was bigger I will put pictures on the screen right now and show you what it looked like pretty soon after getting it taken out. I did bruise. This is, I think, a few days after. Did bruise and there, there is stitches, so if you don't like that stuff, look away. So yeah, this is what it looked like after I got it taken out. But now it's just a little tiny scar right here. Nothing bad or anything. Like, I don't mind it at all. But just a heads up, if you guys do have an one on and you want it taken out, 
that could happen to you. So be warned. You might not just have like a little little tiny thing and usually they don't even need stitches. I think they put a little butterfly thing over it and you're good to do, good to go and it's a little teeny tiny incision. And that is why I got it taken out because it, my acne was really bad. I do have, you know, different progression pictures of my acne that I will show you on the screen right now. I have it from when it was right before getting it taken out, which is right here. Now it is a month after and my skin is clearing up. It keeps getting better and better. My skin feels so much like softer. My skin doesn't have like, I used to get really clogged like pores in my nose, like sebum, whatever that stuff is. Get, it was really big and my pores looked a lot bigger because they were filled with things. I had really bad stuff right here. I mean, I still have a lot of scarring and things like that. And it just keeps getting, every week it gets better and better. And I still get a few pimples here and there, but it's not that bad at all. Like, my skin feels so much better, it's insane. And I used to have the most clogged pores right here on my cheeks. Like, I would rub my hands against my skin and it would, I could feel all the clogged pores. And nothing I did would make it any better. I tried, like, salicylic acid and, like, you know, stuff to get... It so that my skin wasn't clogged and it, nothing worked. So now my skin is a lot smoother. I still have some problems with some clogged pores right here, but every time, like every week, you know, my skin is turning over and it's getting better and better. In my forehead, I have like nothing anymore, which I used to get clogged pores up here and get acne up here. Um, my chin is getting a lot better. So these were the areas that kind of were bad on my skin and they're getting better and better. I know my skin isn't perfect right now by any means, but it is a whole lot better and I'm really, really happy about that. So I'm really glad I did get Nexplanon taken out. It kind of sucks because now I'm back on the pill, but I mean, I just really wanted clear skin again. I want to be able to not wear foundation and have nice skin. Like I am fine with going out with my acne. I would do it all the time. I would go out of the house without foundation on and stuff, but I am definitely looking forward to the times when I don't have to wear foundation to have clear looking skin. So anyway, that is basically everything for my next one on experience. You guys saw how my skin has improved. You guys saw my scar. You guys saw everything like that. I hope that this helped you guys. If you are thinking about getting an explanon, just know there are side effects, there are risks. A lot of people don't have side effects and they are totally fine with it and they freaking love it. But then there are people like me, unfortunately, that had side effects and didn't like it. So I think that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any other questions down below about my next Planon experience, then please leave them down there and I will see you guys in a video very, very soon. Bye.